in the past, before we did this upgrade on a particular day, maybe where it wasn't as humid early in the season, uh, it was too cold in the building. We would come here and we would find out that our return temperatures were down around anywhere from 65 to 68 degrees. People were complaining that they were cold, too cold in the, in the building. The reason why we incorporated this energy conservation with the chiller, this changeover from, summer, from winter to summer operation, all right, is to basically economize a cycle. In a lot of our facilities over the years, there's been a tremendous buildup of heat generating devices. Everybody has a computer, everybody has a laptop, everybody's charging up their phones. So now what happens is these heat generating devices will raise our return air temperature. What we're trying to achieve in our commands besides energy management and efficiency is to try and keep return air at 72 degrees for maximum comfort. In the past, before we did this upgrade, we were always looking for a chill water supply discharge temperature of 55 degrees, or I should say a supply air temperature of 55 degrees. And we got a lot of complaints on a particular day, maybe where it wasn't as humid early in the season. Uh, it was too cold in the building. We would come here and we would find out that our return temperatures were down around anywhere from 65 to 68 degrees. People were complaining that they were cold, too cold in the, in the building. So then what we decided to do was, instead of a constant discharge temperature of 55 degrees, we will reset AC1 supply air temperature through our return temperature. Okay, looking for 72 degrees on a return, modulating our chill water valves and our dampers when we're in our economizer cycle. All right, because it's more economically efficient to cool down a return temperature of 72 than an outside air temperature, let's say of 80, 85 with a high humidity. All right, and that's how we incorporated this economizer cycle. So by letting the return air temperature reset the hot water radiation, all right, it's a little bit more economically efficient and it prevents overheating. Before we wrap up, I would like to introduce Denise Lulian, who is our energy manager and our mechanic. This is his command, Tommy O'Brien.